everyone welcome to the perfume realm my name is Manahil and the structure of my video today is going to be a little bit different um, obviously I'm not in it it's just going to be me in the background talking about my top 10 um, spring fragrances they're not really my top 10 because I tried to do a range of uh, different types that other people would like but I do uh, you know, enjoy all of these perfumes myself. That's why they're in my collection. Uh, so the reason I'm not actually in this video is because I look absolutely horrible. Um, this entire quarantine thus far, I have been rearranging and organizing and decluttering uh, my room and my home. So I uh, really haven't had a chance to make a video, which is really unfortunate um, because I do love making videos for you guys. But I just started a project and then another project started and I just had my hands tied. But now I did want to um, create this video for you without uh, waiting to like look cute and everything because I don't have time to do all of that. So uh, just bear with me here. Uh, so here is my list. Number one is right here before us. This is Aqua Di Gio from Giorgio Armani. So this is the newest fragrance in my collection. I just received it in the mail today, but um, I've had plenty of experience testing this one out. Um, so I definitely know what I'm talking about. That's the reason I ended up purchasing it. It is my actual first uh, kind of aquatic um, based fragrance. I really don't have that many aquatics because a lot of aquatics lean a little too fresh or citrusy for me and uh, that's not really my cup of tea but this one is beautiful. I really love it. First of all the bottle itself is gorgeous and it's uh, meant to kind of mimic what a drop of water would look like which I think they nailed. So yes there is citrus in this however the citrus um, is really cut through with the florals so it's not too sharp um, and the florals themselves are almost aquatic in nature like the jasmine itself is an aquatic jasmine. Uh, the peony is a dewy peony which is just gorgeous and I think it's really lovely for the spring because it's like it's refreshing and it still has a little bit of oomph to it uh, so this is a really nice one I will be doing a more in-depth review of this later on but I don't want to make this video too long so that is my first choice so here are my next two fragrances what I tried to do was uh, choose two from kind of the same category so over here I have Dolce & Gabbana light blue intense and then I have the Atelier Cologne Clementine California both of these are a sharp citrus fragrance um, so the reason this one has been used up is because I've had it super long I've had it for a long time and it was given to me actually as a gift um, because like I said I don't usually reach for fragrances like this but uh, you know it's a huge people pleaser a uh, great compliment getter and I do think that it's really nice for the spring for um, being kind of light and fresh um, and citrusy and the reason I put up the Atelier uh, Clementine uh, California little sample spray is because it really does fall in the same category. Um, it's a citrus. It's a little bit more centric on the citrus here than it is, you know, there's a few other things going around with uh, the Dolce & Gabbana light blue and the Atelier Cologne is really kind of focused around the Clementine, but I do think that they are both uh, pretty good options from the same category. So the next two fragrances I have right here, um, I have another Armani. This is C. Fiori um, from the C line. And this over here is Pacifica's French Lilac. So these are both florals and I love both of them. This is a solid flower and it's just a beautiful interpretation of lilac. I think that they really nailed it. I've mentioned it before in my videos um, and on my Instagram page, which is perfume.realm. <laughs> Really the key features for C. Fiori is the mandarin opening, which is not a sharp mandarin. It's sweet and light um, and quite airy. And then the heart has a beautiful neroli and oak moss, um, as well as rose. This rose is very light 
and sweet and quite mass appealing. I don't think it is a challenging rose at all. The oak moss really grounds it and the vanilla and white musk is really what ties it up perfectly for me because I love vanilla but I think that vanilla would have been pretty dense on its own so the addition of white musk allows this perfume to remain airy and light, uh, sweet, just beautiful florals for the spring. Okay so the next two that I have here are Tender Poison from Christian Dior and this is Fleur de Fundu from La Little Olympica. I love both of these as kind of um, woody green fragrances. So with Tender Poison, this has been discontinued, but you can still find it um, on eBay. That's where I got mine. And it has a very retro touch to it. There's a little bit of honey in the beginning, which I love. And it has a warmth um, that comes from the sandalwood in the base. And that warmth is present throughout the entire composition. And then we have Fleur de Fundu that comes in the beautiful, iconic Lilith Olympica apple-shaped bottle. Um, this fragrance is basically like the original, minus that really bitter licorice note. I can't detect it at all in this, and it makes it a really beautiful, light floral. It's golden. It has violet in it, which I love. It has the strawberry leaf, which is what grounds it and makes it a little bit more, I don't know, prairie-like, meadow-like. There's also peony and iris in this, but what I can definitely pick up um, very strongly is the mimosa. It's a light, sparkling mimosa, but it is quite present and I really like that about it. And then when everything has kind of faded, you are left with that really lovely cherry almond base. Okay, so here are my next two fragrances. I have this Notes Gourmandes uh, Guimave from Reminiscence and I have Girl of Now from Ellie Saab and these are my two gourmand picks for the spring and we all know as gourmand lovers that they can be quite heavy and dense and thick and that is the reason I picked these two because these are fluffier, lighter and kind of easier on the nose especially when the weather kind of starts to warm up a little bit. So uh, Girl of Now is beautiful and I think personally on me it doesn't stay that well um, like Scandal does and Scandal and Girl of Now I've mentioned before um, in a previous video kind of have the same DNA but Girl of Now doesn't have that honey note and it has pistachio instead and I find it to be quite light and fun and girly and then Guimave from Reminiscence this is one of my favorite perfumes right now. I'm quite obsessed with it. And if you're interested in a more in-depth review, I do have a video on this on my channel. Um, but this one is a really nice, light, fluffy, sweet gourmand. And both of these I think would be great for the spring. So my very last perfume stands all alone and it is Versace Aerosport Femme. EDT. It's very important that this is the Eau de Toilette and not the Parfum because I find there is a difference and I like this one more. Um, there's berries in here. There is jasmine um, that I have found to be kind of a common note throughout all the fragrances I like. I really love jasmine and what it does to a fragrance. But yeah, this has the mandarin in it. It has the berries. It has lemon. It's just bright and fun. It is quite a thick uh, citrus fragrance which is nice because that means it lasts pretty long and sometimes with fruitier fragrances I find just like um, more fresh fragrances they often can kind of go away pretty fast. They don't have the best longevity but this has an amazing longevity um, and I think it's even great to really carry on into the summer as well. Uh, so this is my last pick. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video or any of my other content, I would love it if you considered subscribing. Give this video a like and share with a friend. Also, definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this list and what fragrances that you are going to be sporting around this spring. 
Also, um, I did mention before as well, but my Instagram is perfume.realm. I'm very active on it and it's a fun page, so come visit me over there. Oh, and I kind of forgot to mention in the beginning because I really just wanted to jump into this video, but I hope you guys are keeping safe. I hope you guys are taking all of the precautions that have been advised. Also, I hope that your mental health is keeping strong as well. I think that keeping busy, doing um, little hobbies that you enjoy, or getting tasks done around the house will help you feel productive, really take your mind off of the fact that you're sitting at home. Um, I also hope that this video brought a little bit of relief um, to the monotony. So yeah.